Hello, and welcome to this invoice workflow tutorial. In this clip, we will focus on the basic handling of purchase orders after they have entered the system automatically. Typically, this would be AP clerk or someone in the accounts payable department that will handle these kind of documents. These people normally work in NAV, so let's start the NAV system. Here, we can clearly see the six documents in the system are incomplete, which means that they require our attention. So, let's deal with those first. Clicking into the list, we can see the list of invoices, and we will choose the last one. It opens this interface where we on the right side can see a preview of a document. On the left side, we can see the documents which have been found. The red indicates the values, and the green indicates the text that was used to find the values. On the left side, we can see that by default, this has been set up to be posted at the GL account 8410. This is our advertising account, so this is fine since this is an invoice for an exhibition we attended in Frankfurt. We can also see that it actually found the amount of VAT, the pounds, due date, and the vendor. So the reason it found out that it was going on the advertising account is because on vendor 62,000, which is the Walker Holland Company, we have set up by default for this vendor, invoice workflow should use the advertising account. But what is not filled out here is who is going to improve it. So we are going to select an approver and we are going to select our person in charge of marketing and say, okay, this means that this would be sent out to this person and to be approved. But before we can do that, there is an error message. It is complaining about the external number, which means that the invoice number is missing. Now we have to go up here and we are going to see that it is also read here. So we need to tell the system where to find this number. Before we can do that, we are going back here and to click edit the template. And what we are doing now is changing the way the system reads this invoice. So for future invoices, it will use that same logic. We are going to tell it where to read the invoice number. To do that, we need to select it here and then highlight that value here. And now we can see that the system understands where the invoice number is. Just to give it a little more information, we also want to show the job name in the comments field. So we can add it like this. This will help my approver to identify the actual work that this invoice is for. Now we can see that the invoice status has changed to document ready. We still have some warnings here telling us that it doesn't know what to do with these lines items, but this is okay because we already have the data we need. So generally, we are happy with this, so we will send it off for approval. Now we go ahead and click create purchase document and it is going to tell us that the invoice 1219 is created. But it needs approval before we can post it and this is now being sent out to the approver we selected. This concludes our short demo of getting an invoice ready for approval in Invoice Workflow. Thank you.